Why didn't I ever hear of this device? Hey vapers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Inakin Smart Box. <laughs> So today I'm looking at another Anakin product. This is the Smart Box, and I've never heard of it, but it's been around. I will leave a link below to where you can get it for $25.95. So this is a simple kit. It does come in a couple different colors. We have black, stainless steel, red, blue, and pink. However, I think their pink looks pretty purple to me, but to each their own. The dress was actually white and gold. <laughs> no, just kidding. Anyways, so you open it up just like this. We have the user's manual right on top with a, whoops, warning card about the battery. We have two Anakin stickers, and here is their pink smart box. Now, doesn't that look purple to you? It looks purple to me. It does come with the iSub V tank. Two extra coils, we have a 0.5 ohm and a 1.2 ohm. An extra drip tip, a vape band, and some extra O-rings. Here is the device, it says Inakin right here. We have the fire button. We have an atomizer indicator light down here. It will be white when it's direct to lung, or DTL, and it will be green when it's mouth to lung, or MTL. Here on the side, we have a smart box with some venting holes. Here is the bottom, here is the battery cap, which also has some venting holes. Here is the top with the 510 connection. Now this is 2 and 3 fourths of an inch tall by 1 and 5 eighths of an inch across with a 7 eighths of an inch up here. So the battery cap on the bottom does indicate that it needs an 18650 battery, which is not included. So I'm going to go ahead and thread the cap off the bottom. The battery goes down inside there and you can see on the bottom of this battery cap there is a minus symbol to show you which direction the 18650 battery should go. My battery is in and now time to carefully spin down the battery cap. And it's on there nice and snug. Now you notice there is no LED screen because this has automatic intelligent wattage control and it adjusts the wattage of the device based on the battery state and the resistance of the coil. All right, so taking a look at the iSub V, which is not a new tank. It has a dual bottom airflow. It is top fill. It has a removable heat insulated Delrin drip tip. And to change out the coil, well in this case, put a coil on, you just spin the, oh, it actually comes with three coils. I was under the impression that it came with two coils and needed to put one in, but there is one installed, and the one installed is a 0.5 ohm, good for 20 to 35 watts. So I'm going to shove that back in there, make sure it's down nice and flat, but it does have that quick coil swap system, and spin the base back on this sucker. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this iSub V tank with some Lush by Vape Milk. It's a honey pineapple flavor. It is so yummy. And the iSub V does hold two mils of e-liquid. And you do want to prime these coils for the Inakin iSub V. All right, here is the whole thing put together. Very nice. So this is a very simply operated machine and it does have mouth to lung or direct to lung option. So it does have the Anakin Athon chipset in it and it has a variety of protection features. It has reverse polarity protection, a 15 second cutoff, low voltage warning, and short circuit and short atomizer protection, as well as a battery capacity indicator light, which will be the fire button will light up green, yellow, or red, indicating whether it's fully charged, halfway charged, or needs to be charged. Three clicks to the fire button turns it on. And you can see now that it is on. And you can see when I fire it, it lights up under the DTL white, which means direct to lung, because it is, oh hi camera focus, it is a 0.5 ohm coil. So it is sub ohm direct to lung vaping. And if the 1.2 ohm coil was in the iSub V, the other side, the MTL side, would light up green, indicating mouth to lung. I do have the airflow set wide open. It's been a minute since I've used an iSub tank and I think I'm gonna turn the airflow down a little bit because it's got some powerful airflow. The flavor is wonderful in these coils, by the way. Clouds, bitch. <laughs> mm. 
I'd say that this is, this is one of those self-adjusting devices. I really think that it's adjusting perfectly to the coil and the battery state. This is a almost fully charged battery too, so it's going to have no problem meeting the wattage it needs for this coil. And I do really think that these kind of devices are great for people who don't really want to mess with wattage or voltage or anything else to do with their vape. They just want to fill, vape and go. And it's really cool. I have not yet seen a device that recognizes mouth to lung or direct to lung and adjusts in that way. And I almost want to, you know what, I'm going to. Just for the sake of this demo video, I want to show you guys how it will recognize the 0.1 ohm coil. That is not the coil, that is the drip tip. So let's, let's see if I can find the 1.2 ohm without having to open both of them because I'm that type of person that likes to keep coils in their package. Okay, that's the 0.5. So this is the 1.2 ohm. This is the mouth to lung. And yep, it is 1.2 ohm canthal and it's good for 8 to 16 watts. That is a low wattage range. So I want to see this baby in action. So I'm gonna pop out that 0.5 and set it over here. Another thing I really like about the iSub coils is they have that spit back screen guard so you don't get any e-liquid up in your grill. So let me just shove that in there. I don't know if I'm gonna vape on this one because I don't wanna wait for the coil to soak up. I just wanna see the device actually recognize the coil that's in here and see how she do. So, oh! As soon as I put it on, it lit up green. Okay, did you guys see that? That is awesome. Wow, so check it out. Now I've got the 1.2 ohm, and now the MTL is lighting up on that side green. So there you go. It, I'm pretty impressed. Like, that's pretty cool. I have not seen a device with that specific little indicator before, so I like that. Good job. So that is really cool. I will leave a link below to this if you're interested in checking it out for yourself for someone you may know that you want to get this for. If you've used the smart box, I know why they call it the smart box now. Let me know in the comments below if you've used it. I want to hear from you guys. I think that feature is pretty cool. That's it for the video though. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up for smart devices. Way to go, Inakin. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos and check the little bell notification so you don't miss a single one because being a subscriber does not always mean you're going to see every video upload, which is weird, but I think YouTube is fixing that because that's just how it is right now. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All of those social media links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching.